everybody, Brian Aiken is doing a little Friday night second shift in the shop. Got Saxon out of bed on the camera this afternoon. We're going to start off with the butt. And uh, as you can see, guys, that's a pretty nice peen right there. And notice what it's peening. Notice this pommel cap. That's distinctive. That's not like your normal pommel caps. You know, normally... They have a little ring around in that helmet looking shape. Let me do the rebel grab. Right? You follow me? See how them pommel caps are a little different? This distinctive pommel cap you find on North Carolina swords made in Keenansville, North Carolina at the Confederate States Arsenal. Lewis Froelich. Got a bunch of names for them cats. The scabbards on these are a lot like the uh, Georgia made except the mounts are a little, have a little bit more streamlined look than those big gaudy Heyman mounts. And the lead's usually a little bit better on these Kenansville products than the Heymans. Like it, like it. Notice here the guard, how it's flat. Most Confederate swords are a lot like the Model 1840 wrist breaker or the Model 60. Um, well, here's one, handy dandy. See how these are rounded versus just the flat on the Kenansville. Something if you're out roaming the, the shows or auctions, estate sales, yard sales, wherever you end up. So one thing on these Keenansville, this is a type one. The type two that have a similar have the rounded. So that's something to keep in mind. This is a type one Keenansville. I think was made a little earlier. I love that sound. Um, unstopped fuller, which means if you're new, no Ricasso down here. The Ricasso is what you would see at Ames Mark on or S and K if it's an import or any of the other uh, suppliers. We'll get Saxon to get in there on that old southern sand casting. You can almost look in there and see the sand. Hence the sand casting. I call that the rebel nitty gritty. Full length blade. I was about to be galloping along and get your wig split. All right, guys. Kenansville. Calvary Saber, Type 1. I don't know. I may get this thing. Well, come on. One more time. Let's get in there, Saxon. Notice, guys, it's crude, but it's crisp. Right? And that's what you want to look for. The reproduction stuff, they're crude looking, but a lot of them were copied from real ones. And, and the sand casting is built into the rubber mold, so it's not crisp. It's got this mottled, kind of washed out look to it. Um, just get, if you can get your eye trained when you're looking at the short swords, the House of Swords stuff, it may look like it's got faults, but you'll notice that, those, that, they, that they were cast into it and they were not done in the casting process. And, and these rubber molds are good, guys. Used to be able to just measure a buckle. I think they've made the rubber molds bigger now. Some of them are, they're not good, but they're measuring really good. All right, I digress. I'm Brian Akins, rebelrelics.com, and if you need anything, give me a rebel yell. See ya!